Hi curious friends, it's your London friend Vasi and uh, I'm here on my balcony all ready to go to winter wonderland and I just couldn't be more hyped up about it because usually this big event happens every year but we miss 2020 because of the pandemic and you know so this year I, I'm even more excited about it and I cannot wait to go and try all the cool rides and see what is new this year but let me tell you that I can already see some changes because basically before going in there you have to book your tickets in advance and uh, we paid five pounds each to be able to enter but there is also a way to avoid this basically if you book your attractions which cost more than 20 pounds per person then you don't pay this entrance fee and maybe this is what we should we should have done but let me tell you a little secret it's just between me and you okay basically I love this ride and I love like doing literally the most dangerous things but Ben is a little bit afraid so yeah I wasn't really sure if I would be able to convince him to go back after our last experience which was a little bit traumatizing for him let me show you first what a beautiful day it is And by the way guys, what is your favorite tea? Mine is rooibos and I'm having some in here. Finishing up my tea and I will see you in there. Okay, let's go. Winter Wonderland has opened on the 19th of November and it will run until the 3rd of January next year and it's open every day except from Christmas Day and it's open also 12 hours a day so you have plenty of time. And make sure you dress well because it gets quite chilly in here. We just entered! Hi Ben! Hey Anne. How do you feel? I'm alright, I'm a bit scared because I don't want to go crazy they you know roller coasters, but I'm fine. Let's have a look at the map maybe. And just a couple of highlights first of all it is the giant whale and then of course the munich looping if you're up for a little bit dangerous ride then not to forget the ice ring and of course the delicious bavarian village and apparently this year also there is the biggest ice skating ring which is right here and it is sponsored by Lidl, but you don't know the smell of chulurus that I can feel all around. We have been here from two minutes and this is like the third place that is selling churros. And the selection of food in there, it's actually quite overwhelming. You can get anything from mac and cheese to firewood pizza, truffle fries, and uh, there is even paelleria. You can get lots of donuts and not even to mention all the typical German food. I decided to try one of the challenges which seemed pretty right? simple. Basically, you just have to climb a rope and if you ring the bell, you get 20 pounds. That's it. Simple, right? You need okay. to ring the bell. Yeah, so I need to ring the bell which is over, over there. there. Okay. Go. Are you ready? Come on. Make me proud. Ah, hey, it's over. Come on, you're almost there. <laughs> so close. Start from the middle. No, it's it's impossible. What do you see? Why it's over there? No, it's too hard. Oh wow. Uh, great job. What an athlete. I honestly thought I can go at least like one or two steps, but it's so like jiggly, it's impossible. And this guy here is making a typical Hungarian roll, which basically all it has is uh, sugar and some butter. Sounds simple, but it's very delicious. In Hungary, they actually bake it uh, in like wood type of oven, but I feel like here it was written that it's fried. because I embarrassed myself already too many times. I'm 
so tempted to go over there. And here you can see just like one of the parts with attractions for kids, but there were a lot more. So I feel like if you go there with a the kid, it will go totally crazy. Ben, which one would you do? This one looks very safe. You are literally like 1 meter 90. I don't even think they would let you in. If you remember my video from Brighton, I actually did this thing over there. I will have the video linked down below. Also, let me know in the comments down below which one would you do, which ride would you take. A little bit of story time so here you can see this roller coaster which is called white mouse and it's basically made for kids and uh, in 2018 with ben first we went to the giant looping like the munich one and he was so scared after that that he didn't even want to go in there so i went there on my own with like a bunch of kids all around me i mean nothing against kids it was just a little bit odd Here it is, the Munich looping. It actually comes from the Oktoberfest and it is the world's largest transportable roller coaster. But this makes me think that somewhere in the world there is a bigger one and I should find it one day. But anyways, a little bit later, I will be going to the roller coaster. I wish I could take you with me though. And after that, we went to the giant wheel and it was super beautiful and everything. But before you get excited, I just want to tell you that you should first get ready to wait for at least like 10 minutes or something before you can get into there. Unless you want to pay for a fa fast track, which is five pounds on top of the regular 10 pounds uh, for the wheel itself for the amount of money that you pay okay it's still a lot but it spins four times and it lasts around 10 minutes so i would say it's pretty worth it it was pretty great because it takes you up to 70 meters high and you get to see all the beautiful skyline of london and you see like all the festivity around you and it's pretty great Oh, and I forgot to mention that the cabins are not private, so I couldn't really speak in there. And of course, I didn't want to film the other people I was there with. But as you can see, it's like pretty beautiful. And oh, here you can see my sad face when I thought that like this was the ride. Literally, like I thought it two minutes, but thanks God it lasted longer. And let me tell you about other fun activities which you can do at Winter Wonderland, especially if you can stand cold better than me. Because one of the most beautiful things that you can you can try is uh, going to the magical ice kingdom where basically you enter into a mythical world through an ice arcway of course you can also go to the circus you can go to bar ice which seems pretty cool or you can also try ice sculpturing yourself And here I am waiting to get into the ride and I have to say next to me there was a girl also on her own because her boyfriend was also afraid to go with her and I thought that's pretty funny. We were literally in the same situation but at the same time the rush of adrenaline that you get is totally worth it. And after that we were pretty hungry and wanted to take some typical German sausage but it turned out that one of these with like two sides was almost like 15 pounds. It was between 13 and 15 which seemed pretty insane to me. 
Can you guess how much is just the pretzel? It's like, like the basic pretzel. Yeah, the basic pretzel with salt. It's five pounds. Five pounds. Like, are they out of their, mi their minds? I think we're not eating here. And guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. And don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Love you all.